folks, we're back. And the next question on Stuperty is, why the hell are these all-wheel drive limited Highlanders so much more money than these other all-wheel drive limited Highlanders? As you can see, this 2024 Grand Highlander Limited, when you go to toyota.com and configure this vehicle, can be equipped in the mid-$53,000 range with all-wheel drive, panoramic roof, and the panoramic view monitor. You are now going to see 20 different Highlanders come across your screen, identical to the one I showed you a moment ago that is about $53,000. But you will notice the vehicles on the left side of the screen are thousands higher than the vehicles on the right side of the screen. Why? Do 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 Before I tell you the answer to this question, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share with all of your frenemies. If you guessed that these vehicles are all in the Gulf States Toyota region, you would be correct! Follow-up question. Why in the HE double hockey sticks are they $2,000 to $6,000 more, and what makes the Gulf States Toyota region different? If you made it this far, thank you for indulging my game show host voice. The answer is, there are 12 different Toyota regions in the USA. Toyota controls 10 of them but two of them are privately held, meaning Toyota has less control over their own badging, so to speak. The vehicles that were on the left side of the screen are truly identical to those on the right, but the dealers whose vehicles were on the left side add thousands in accessories to the vehicle in a way that allows them to get onto the Monroney label, making it near impossible to get them removed to reduce the MSRP of the vehicle. Now folks, why would a dealership do this? Profit, of course. However, I will never for the life of me understand why dealerships do this. A $53,000 vehicle is easier to sell than a $56,000 vehicle. I guess it's a matter of folks in their market not knowing there are other options out there, or someone as amazing as myself not having made a video like this before, calling them out. This particular vehicle takes the cake as the most expensive of the lot that I found doing a search. $58,295 MSRP that can be equipped for almost $5,000 less. What was happening during the shortages? Were they marking them up another five grand or so and now you are paying almost $10,000 over sticker for a Highlander? This isn't a Kia Telluride, folks. This isn't only for Grand Highlanders. It appears to be all Toyotas across the board in this region and similar in the Southeast Toyota region. I found Corolla Cross LE models that should be $27,500-ish dollars, showing MSRPs of $29,500 up to over $31,000. I recently helped a client purchase a Grand Highlander in this region. I saved them almost $6,000 from MSRP plus the $1,000 rebate. But had they lived a state away, their purchase price could have been a bit less. But taking into account travel expense and time, this made the most sense to purchase locally. I hope if you live in the privately held Toyota regions, you reach out to me for assistance in your purchase. I've seen a few folks excited that they got a $3,000 discount on a Grand Highlander Limited. Even after my fee, they are thousands ahead, especially when I help them get a better interest rate and more for their trade. Please remember, I can certainly assist you with any brand, no matter where you live. Please allow me to help you beat the Steelership so they don't screw you.